Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa Yilrich here again. Thanks so much for joining me once again in my 12-part series comparing dwarf seahorses versus large seahorses. If you've missed the previous videos in this series, I've linked them below this video in case you wanted to go back and look at them. Today we are in part 9 and we're talking about the time investment comparing the two types of seahorses. Starting with the larger seahorses, because larger seahorses are usually fed live shrimp or frozen shrimp, there is no special preparation or hatching required of food daily as there is with dwarf seahorses. So that's a big time saver right there. Also, larger seahorses require less frequent water changes. A seahorse keeper can get away with just performing one to two water changes a week. So that's less salt water preparation and less time actually vacuuming out and changing out the water. So overall, looking at the large seahorses eating requirements and requirements for water changes, it seems that the investment in time is minimal compared to the dwarf seahorses. Taking a look at the dwarf seahorses, let's remember that they do need live food that needs to be prepared for them daily. And along with the preparation of hatching out the live food, the water that is used to hatch the food needs to be prepared. So this can use up a lot of time on a day-to-day -day basis. In addition, water tank changes are much more frequent in a dwarf seahorse tank, a minimum of once a day or even more. So in addition to preparing the synthetic seawater for dwarf seahorse tanks, those water changes happening at least once or more times a day use up quite a bit of time. So overall, dwarf seahorses require much more time investment when it comes to preparing their food and performing the water changes. So if time is something that's very important to you, when you're considering to make a purchase of seahorses, you might find that larger seahorses will better fit into your lifestyle. I hope you're finding this information useful. If so, please hit the like button and leave a comment. If you would like to be notified when part 10 of the series is available, please subscribe to Cowfish Pro and don't forget to allow notifications on your device. Thanks so much for joining me and I'm hoping to see you at part 10.